Hi, so recently I got a new mechanical keyboard and what you may know about mechanical keyboards is that um, on most mechanical keyboards the keycaps are actually similar so you can simply like on Google type up um, for, for keycaps and you can buy um, special keycaps for your keyboard and it's a nice way to customize it and I thought you know what I might as well 3D print one for myself um, so yeah, the first thing you want to do is download Mesh Mixer. Now this is a really simple tool for designing 3D models for 3D printing and allows us to do basic things. I've linked it in the description. Um, so if you don't know which one of these you have, then always go for Windows 32-bit. It's your safest bet. Okay, so now after you've downloaded that and installed it, um, you want to go and find um, the files for the keycap. So this is the base file which we will or effectively customize to make it our own. So I have linked that in the description as well. Um, okay, so we come here and then you click simply click the download file and then you can download the files for the different um, for the different keycaps. Okay, so once you download it, you'll get a um, you'll get a zip file and then when you open up the zip file, you will see a few files here. Okay, so now you need to decide on which key you want to modify. So, I put on a useful graphic for you on the screen. Um, if you look from the side of your keyboard, you'll notice, and it has to be a mechanical keyboard, you'll notice that there's a slight um, curve. So, if you want to replace the um, escape key, you'll have to use the column 5 and etc. So, you can figure out what model to open. So. What I've designed is obviously um, something on the escape bar, so that is a row 5 file. Um, it's, sorry, it's a row 5 model because there's one right at the top. So yeah, um, so if you want you can open that up on Mesh Mixer for now. So there you go. That is the file. Um, you may notice that the person who has designed these files has done something quite clever and decided to make the bottom of this, which I can't really show. Uh, they've decided to make the bottom of this out of, um, well, maybe a square shape rather than a circular shape, which make, makes it easy to 3D print. So you should be able to 3D print this with most 3D printers. All right, now what we need to do is get the text which goes on top of this. So to do this, I suggest you use Tinkercad. It's free and you can sign in with Facebook so it takes like 10 seconds. Um, yeah, And it's a quite a useful tool. And we'll use this to make um, the letters. So you, when you log in, you end up on a page like this. Simply click Create Project and then Create Legacy Design. Okay, so now we're here on the Editor View. And now you just want to, uh, if you on the side, just open up Letters and you just want to place the letters to spell out what you want to spell out. So you just click it once on that side and then you can sort of, it's already selected and you move around and you can click it down. Really easy. And now if you want to sort of manipulate the work plane so you can look at um, different views, the zoom in is zoom out, it's just a mouse wheel. And then if you hold down the right button on your mouse and drag, it allows you to change perspective. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It's just something flat on a surface. Don't worry about size for now. Um, just make sure that the right spacing which you want. Okay. Now that that's done, you simply just want to save it. Um, okay. So what you can do is click save. And then you want to press download for 3D printing. And this now you have to click the .stl button. .stl is a format used for 3D printing. So yeah, .stl, we'll save that, we'll make a new folder for it. And we'll call that hi. Okay, so now what you want to do is go back into um, Mesh Mixer. So you've already got this file opened up. Now what you want to do is uh, you want to add on a file to this. So what you do is you um, simply simply just find 
um, simplifying the file and drag it in. And then you can click append or replace. Click append. And what that does is it adds that into the same um, file as this. So now you've got both here. So now obviously you want this on top of that and you want this to be smaller. So what you can do is use a manipulate function. So first of all make sure the text STL is selected here. So just click it. And then yeah, simply click edit and transform. So one thing you can do is you can move it so you can position it up. This uses the same controls by the way as um, the thing we were using earlier. Cool. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the placement sorted. And now what you want to do is you need to decrease the size. So before we were dragging on the arrows, now you want to drag on the um, squares because that's what um, yeah changes the actual size and not the location. And yeah, you just wanted to yeah do whatever you want. And then yeah, just make sure make sure it's in the right place simply by dragging on the arrows like that. There we go. Okay, so keycaps they're slightly slanted as you can see, um, especially if it's one of the top keys or bottom keys on the keyboard. So what you can do is rotate. So simply just uh, just drag the red one out, and there you go. Okay, so there is a really cool looking keycap. Um, and now what you do is simply just um, in the object browser select both. So click Control, click them both. Yeah. Okay. So when you select the two. There's a button up here which says combine, so you click it, and now it's one object. Okay, so that is now your, uh, yeah, it's now your keycap fully designed. All you have to do is click file, and here's the important bit, you have to export it, and you have to export it as an STL. Save it as an STL, and you can send that for 3D printing. After that, I just simply used acrylic paint and I just dropped the keycap into it so just so that the top text hits it and I got a nice even coating. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.